Okay, so first up we have the Bionic Quick Shot Trigger Stoppers. And it has grips. It comes with a tool to pry the controller open. And it has these trigger stoppers to help with a faster reaction time on shooting games. Uh, I'm going to show you how to apply it to an Xbox One controller. Comes in like a waterproof case type deal. Okay, so what you want to do is like gently but firmly take it up and you want to twist like left uh yeah you're probably thinking that does this like break my warranty well uh no it does not and uh by that it doesn't because you're not really opening your controller any see you're not really opening it up you're just taking the side off and here I believe this is the side is very, very texturized. I'm gonna put this upward, that way I can install it. Uh, I probably should have cleaned it out before I snapped it on, but that's okay. actually paused the video so I could actually clean it out because I took it back off. Anyways, I took the battery out, which is an official battery, by the way, if you were wondering. And, uh, yeah. Oh, you're probably noticing I have grips on my triggers. Well, that would be trigger treads. They're adhesive, they stick really well. I've been using them for about eh, three days now, four days. Uh, I have a really old controller. Not really old, but it came with my 1X, so it's getting pretty beat up. See right now, it pulls all the way back, push it up, and it clicks. but I'm only doing that for aiming, so I'm going to be holding it down farther. Alright, so I got the other side off, the trigger finger, for the firing mechanism, basically. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you how to put this on. What you want to do is keep this lever, this orange lever, down and then you want to put it on by the right way by putting it on over here first. Alright, you got your whole top in and now it does take some force to fill in the gaps in the bottom. Uh, you might see the hole in my controller where the battery should go, but I never open this controller up. 
because this one is still brand new and the one that I won from Microsoft kind of went bad. So what I'm going to do with my old one is I'm going to place it in those and you can see that over time that they just gather dead skin and dirt and dust, probably hair and yeah, that's how you put it on. By the way, this feels too flimsy, so if anyone on the Bionics team sees this, I really want you to kind of reinforce this, because I have white spots from where it got weak. Here is what the full and final product of your customization with the Bionic Quick Shots should look like. As you can tell, it's a massive improvement in reaction time. Hope you enjoy the video. And another thing that I'd like to mention is that you can find all these products on Amazon. And before I finally actually do leave, this is something worth mentioning. They're grips for the controller. I got them just to make it bigger, and the reason why I actually got the Bionic trigger stoppers is because I wanted something like a Pro Controller without having to pay the cost for an Elite Controller. And the trigger grips actually do grip. It actually starts to burn your finger once you like you know, forcefully do it. They also make these for PS4 and Xbox One. All the products listed in, well, the video will be listed in the description. Hope you enjoyed. But, uh, here's what the Xbox controller ones look like. Oh, and uh, this was stuck at the bottom. It's a user guide <laughs> on how to install. <laughs> so if you ever need to learn how to install it, just use the picture diagram. Make sure you check the bottom of the box. Make sure you check the box thoroughly.